development, awareness. And my name's Arianna Mendo. This is Bridges of Light International and uh, a very big welcome to everybody. Uh, tonight, uh, it is quite a special night because it's a full moon and uh, me and Enrico, who is uh, going to join me very, very soon, <laughs> are going to um, introduce you to uh, a ritual for the full moon. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Yes. Welcome. Welcome. A very warm welcome to everybody. It is always uh, a joy to be here to share with you uh, these uh, special moments. So, um, before we start and we actually get into the ritual, um, we would like to um, underline that um, uh, we suggested you on uh, bringing into the ritual wherever you are um, some pink crystals and some red crystals if you have any otherwise something pink or something red because tonight the full moon occurs uh, between the sign of Libra and the sign of Aries. And for this reason, these two uh, zodiac signs are connected to these colors and therefore to these crystals. Um, right, so um, why celebrate uh, full moon ritual because um, full moon has always a full moon always has a very strong energy when we have a full moon in the sky the energy on earth uh, gets very very strong we all know that there is a very strong link between the moon our satellite and our planet Earth and we know we are all conscious that the moon governs uh, the tides and uh, the, the women's cycle and many things in agriculture as well and uh, during uh, the full moon uh, the effect um, on our planet is really very very strong and it is a moment um, in, in the cycle, in the yearly cycle, it is a moment when the sun and the moon are opposite in the sky. For this reason, we are now uh, in the season of Libra. It is uh, the beginning of autumn. Actually, we got into the sign of Libra on the 22nd of September. And um, for this reason, because the moon is opposite the sun, the moon is actually tonight in the sign of Aries. So, uh, when we see the moon so bright, Every time there's a full moon, there is always this opposition in the sky. For this reason, uh, it can be quite a tense moment, especially for those who belong to these signs in this case. So, the natives of Libra and Aries, because uh, the two lights the sun and the moon are opposite but it is always a moment uh, with a lot of uh, energy going on and so it can be used uh, to 
achieve things, you know, it, it can really be a moment of realization and achievement. And uh, it's up to us as well to uh, try to find a balance between these two uh, different energies because the signs that are opposite on the zodiac uh, can compensate very well. They can balance well because one sign has what the other one hasn't got. And so uh, it can be really a time um, with a lot of opportunities. Um, right, so uh, as I was saying uh, today, uh, because the moon is in Aries and the sign is in Libra, the natives of these two signs are very much affected uh, by uh, today's energies. But at the same time, those who were born under the sign of Capricorn or the sign of Cancer are affected a lot as well. These two signs are not in harmony with uh, Libra or um, Aries. So it can be um, a moment of tension for them as well. So it is important to try to uh, overcome this kind of tension. While some other signs are affected very positively, for example, those born under the sign of Leo or Sagittarius or uh, Aquarius, for example, or Gemini, they are affected positively and so uh, today uh, tonight, uh, these people can feel really very good, uh, quite happy, with a lot of positive energy. Hmm? As for the other signs that are not um, directly affected by these two energies, Aries and Libra, um, it is somehow easier, uh, but uh, it doesn't mean that they are not affected because in our natal chart, uh, we um, have all the signs of the zodiac. And so, of course, uh, we have uh, this um, celestial uh, configuration as well within uh, each person. So somehow we are all affected. But some people can feel it in a stronger way. Let's say that the signs, the natives, the people of the signs, they are not directly affected by Aries and Libra, uh, can feel it uh, less strongly, right? Mm, yes, and here I would like to underline that um, astrology is um, actually a, a sacred science of balancing different forces. Mm? And uh, if we have awareness of the forces that are going on, we can actually uh, try to balance these different forces. That's, uh, uh, I think, uh, one of the aspects uh, that are important if you know astrology. Right. So, um, another thing I suggested uh, was to bring into the ritual some water. Um, so, a bowl with some water uh, to be used um, during a ritual, but at the same time, especially to be used tonight, because um, my suggestion is to put this bowl of water outside and uh, let the water be charged by the rays of the moon. Uh, in this way, it will be charged with the energies of this uh, moon, um, of the vibrations 
of this present moment and tomorrow you can uh, wash your aura or your chakras or uh, your face with this water and it will be a way to absorb all the qualities of uh, these two vibrations especially these two vibrations and uh, actually tonight during the ritual we are uh, going to absorb nurture um, our chakras and subtle uh, body but also our organs every cell and our inner water with the qualities of these two signs because I think it is really important to underline our uh, resources, to work on our resources. This is always the best way uh, to live, to uh, underline our resources, work on that, on the positive side of life. And um, it's a bit like uh, with... Um, flower remedies uh, that uh, were made uh, in order to our cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, cats mm -hmm. are uh, nightly animals. Huh? Mm -hmm. so they are very much connected with mm -hmm. the stars and the moon. Our mm -hmm. cat, uh, who is called Calispera, a Greek name which means uh, good evening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And, uh, and so, like for um, the flower remedies that um, were made uh, in order to transmute uh, negative patterns into positive ones. <laughs> yes, having said this, um, we are um, saying hello to the people we see that are linked, they are connected now. Very big uh, hello. Hi. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, yeah, it's I too far yeah. to read, but um, I presume uh, <laughs> uh, you and Rebecca are there. <laughs> <laughs> Mariella, probably. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. our computer tonight uh, is really a bit far, too far to be able to read your names, mm -hmm. but we will say personally um, hello uh, mm -hmm. after the end of this ritual. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And thank you for being here. So, um, I think we can start this yes, ritual and uh, Enrico is going to help me with uh, his uh, Tibetan bells. Mm -hmm. We often uh, organize uh, full moon rituals outdoors here in Sardinia where we live in the summer uh, because um, during the summer uh, it's really it's really nice, you know, to be outside and uh, to be under the stars and, and the moon in energy places and celebrate uh, those moments. Uh, but tonight, uh, um, being already a bit uh, cold uh, during the evening, and so here we are uh, to share with you uh, this special moment. Okay, um, so um, I think we can really start and um, the best way for you is to of course relax. You can either decide to keep your eyes open or to keep your eyes closed. Uh, it's really up to you. And, um, of course, uh, uh, find a comfortable position so that you can follow the ritual. Uh, but if, um, for any reasons, you feel like um, changing your position uh, during the ritual, just do it, because it, uh, changing doesn't affect the ritual at all. It is better to change positions if at a point you do not feel relaxed or, or comfortable 
anymore um, because otherwise uh, you will uh, lose your concentration. <laughs> so we hope you will enjoy this ritual and uh, we wish you very good vibrations. So just relax and focus your attention to your uh, breathing. Breathe in and breathe out very slowly and very deeply so that you can expand your consciousness, release your tensions, and open up. Breathing allows you to get into your inner space, your inner temple. Breathe very slowly, very deeply, in and out, following this natural rhythm. It is very relaxing and allows you to get into your inner temple. The sound of the Tibetan bells is very soothing and uh, you can let your tensions go and let them go into Mother Earth's womb. She is very powerful and can absorb your tensions and transform them into positive vibrations. And now you can slowly get to your normal breathing and uh, I am inviting you to visualize the moon, the full moon, the glorious full moon in all her brightness and visualize her rays getting to you. You can now absorb the rays of the moon and these rays are reaching your subtle body, your aura, your chakras, your bones and muscles, your blood and your cells.
and these rays of the moon are filled with pure water. And this water has deep cleansing properties and you can cleanse every part of your subtle body, your physical body and here I am sending you through the ether, I am sending you this water that is inside my bow. It is reaching you through the ether. It is vibrational water. Cleansing your aura, your chakras, your organs and your inner water. We are made up of water for our 80%. So visualize this water, this inner water of yours becoming as pure as crystals. Thanks to the rays of the moon and thanks to this vibrational water. And your aura is getting wider and wider, brighter and brighter. And the moon tonight is in the sign of Aries. It is a fire sign. And now, through this moon, you can start to absorb the qualities of the moon in Aries. And we are going to start with the quality of courage. Imagine the red color, the red color of a crystal. Jasper. 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 Of the Jasper. Imagine this color, this red color and the vibration, the strong vibration of the Jasper reaching you and nourishing you with the quality of courage. This quality is now going all over you, but especially reaching your first chakra, the root chakra. It's the chakra where you can achieve things. So feel your legs, feel your feet, feel and imagine your roots. You have roots starting from your feet and these roots are deep and strong and they are filled with the quality of courage, a quality that allows you to achieve your goals. And imagine you are within, inside the red color and the strong vibration of the Jasper, a crystal that allows you to achieve your goals, your targets to get really practical. And 
you can breathe this quality. Imagine you are breathing this quality within your cells. And together with courage, we add the quality of daring. Yes, daring. Don't be shy in your life, but dare to reach your dreams and goals. Absorb this quality of daring, the quality of heroes, of people who are able to reach their dreams. And again, visualize this red color the red color of the jasper, this beautiful crystal. And strength is another quality connected to areas. Strength. Be strong. We all have a lot of inner strength. A strength that allows to overcome obstacles and hindrances. And imagine this quality, especially reaching your first chakra but also your third chakra, the solar plexus chakra. It is the chakra of our personal power. And you can feel this chakra getting stronger and stronger, like a ball radiating light it is your personal power your strength your inner strength a strength that you can feel in your root as well deep roots And for a moment, you can visualize yourself like a tree, an old tree, strong, with deep roots. And we are now adding another quality connected to the Aries vibration, enthusiasm. This word means to be with God. Enthusiasm is a quality that allows you to be joyful and uh, to perform your tasks and what you do with a, with a lot of vitality, with that inner joy. It is so important to feel this enthusiasm in what you do and so just imagine for a moment something you really love doing and see yourself doing uh, what you like, uh, uh, maybe a hobby or your work, and you do it with this enthusiasm. It is so important. It makes you feel alive. Feel it. Feel this 
energy of enthusiasm inside you. Imagine your cells filled with this quality. Your cells are dancing within yourself with this vibrant energy. And with all these qualities connected with areas, then we can become risk-taking. Risk-taking, yes, we can take the risk to follow our dreams. And so, for a moment, visualize a goal you really would like to achieve, a dream that you have. And see yourself taking the risk to make it become true. And you feel now in this vibration, the vibration of this moon in areas you are feeling right now really vibrant. And now we are going to connect with the opposite vibration of Libra. It is a vibration of harmony. Harmony is a quality of Libra. And so now we are going to change color and change crystal. Now visualize the pink color of a quartz, a rose quartz, pink in color. It is such a soft color and I am now sending you the energy of this quartz. And I am inviting you to visualize yourself being within this pink vibration, your aura is getting pink and your organs, your bones, your nerves and muscles, your blood and your cells. When all our cells are in harmony, according to some scientific studies, our cells vibrate in a pink color. And so visualize your cells in pink, absorbing the energy of this pink quartz. Harmony is the quality of Libra and harmony is the law of the cosmos 
and for a moment just visualize the planets moving in this perfect harmony. Observe the planets revolving in this perfect harmony. Harmony is one of the laws of our universe. And with harmony, we also have balance. Balance is another Libra quality. Absorb it in your cells. Breathe deeply and absorb this quality. When you are in balance, you are centered. And our center is in our spine. So feel your spine and visualize pink energy running through your spine, releasing every block, releasing every tension. making your spine strong and flexible at the same time. Feel your spine. See this pink light running through your spine, giving flexibility and strength. And feel how centered you become with this strong and flexible spine. Libra is a sign governed by Venus, the planet of relationships, of love. And so now let's open to this quality, love. Breathe deeply and connect with your heart chakra. And I am now inviting you to put your hands on your heart chakra. Feel your heart chakra and visualize it like a flower opening up to the rays of the sun, of the morning sun. Your heart chakra is a flower now, opened up, receiving the rays of the sun and at the same time giving back its scent, it's beautiful scent, because love is giving and receiving, it is an exchange. Breathe very deeply and feel your heart chakra expanding. Breathe very deeply, expand your heart chakra and fill your heart chakra with this pink vibration because love is a quality of the heart. Unconditional 
unconditional love. A love not seeking any judgments. Just giving freely. Breathe this quality of love. Every cell, each cell is now breathing within this energy that expands you, expands your field of consciousness. And with love comes gratitude. Gratitude for being alive. Gratitude for all the things that you have. For all the things you have achieved. For your relations. Gratitude. Thank you. And again, feel this quality in your heart. Visualize your heart like a flower, open. And in the center of this flower, there is a flame burning your essence. And sharing is another Libra quality, a quality of the heart. And feel it in your throat chakra as well because you can share using your words, communicating. So feel your throat chakra with this pink vibration. Connect your throat chakra with the heart chakra. We are now sharing a ritual. We are here on this planet to share. To share with all the relations. Minerals and crystals, plants and trees, animals and people. And the final quality a Libra quality is beauty. Venus is connected with beauty. Beauty is all around us. In nature, above us in the sky, in the works of art. In life itself. And let's pray to walk in beauty every step that we take.
we have right now absorbed all these qualities coming from these celestial vibrations we are connected to and from those uh, celestial plane, planes now we are getting a blessing from all the beings of light and they are pouring down the emerald color, the emerald vibration, which is a vibration of peace. So visualize the vibration of this crystal, the emerald, this precious crystal, its beautiful color, and this beautiful vibration is now pouring down from all the beings of light living in the celestial planes, dimensions and like a blessing they are pouring down this vibration that is bringing peace and harmony and we are now covered in this green emerald vibration. Imagine to float and swim in this vibration. It is an energy, it is like emerald water and you are swimming and you are feeling so peaceful and in harmony with everything. Again, I am sending you this vibrational water, the water of this full moon, the water that tomorrow you will use to cleanse your face and aura and chakras, connecting once more, once again, with all the qualities of Libra and Aries, blessing this very moment and feeling these strong connections with the celestial dimension, the celestial archetypes that are above us but within us as well. Thank you so much for sharing this precious moment with us, with me and Enrico. We feel very grateful for this moment shared together. Good night and see you next time. And of course, if you want to write to us, we will be very happy and we will answer you. Thanks so much. Good night.